Hey everybody, I'm all about vehicles, and today I'm going to be talking about what do I think about the Toyota Tundra, especially the 2018 model. First of all, I find that the Toyota Tundra is that one truck that, personally, is all around what I would think of a truck. A gas-guzzling, big truck that's reliable, comfortable, not necessarily technology advanced, but so very nice. So, Mark at Tundra Dude 34, he has a Platinum Pro, as he calls it, which is pretty much a the Toyota Tundra 2017 with all the TRD aftermarket parts that you can put on it. And then you have Fab at uh, Fab Nation, who has a 2018 Toyota Tundra Crew Max in Cement Limited with the TRD 4x4 off road. Ooh, sorry, I don't find that too much. Am I as well? Oh, that's what happens when you start doing videos. I don't know, whatever. So, I love. A crew max. My uncle has a 2018 Toyota Tundra Crew Max SR5 um, in quicksand. It's a Canadian edition. It's got uh, the TRD 4x4 off road package on it. Uh, so, in the Canadian edition SR5, you get power uh, rear up and down window, you get the power sunroof. Um, Heated seats, the Toyota Safety Sense system, and a bunch of other little goodies. Um, and my uncle owns four trucks, one car, two cars, actually five trucks. 2011 F250, 2018 F450 Platinum. The F-250 2011 is an XLT. It's got an F-150 XLT single cab short bed 5 liter. It also has an F-150 2018 uh, Lariat Sport with the F-4 off-road package. And then that's his truck. Then he's got the Tundra. If you're wondering why he owns five trucks, well, he owns five trucks. He, his wife actually drives the Tundra quite a bit now. Um, she hates the gas mileage it gets, but what this is what I think of a truck. It's heavy. It's going to suck a lot of gas, whether you like it or not, and it's going to get you from A to B reliable with lots of versatility and durability. And if you don't like that. And you don't want a truck, or you don't need a truck. So, I found out that one was quicksand, he won through a bet. Um, he didn't really win it, he had to buy it. So, it's a stupid bet, I won't get into it. But, short of the matter is, he had to buy it. Quicksand Crew Max SR5 2018 Toyota Tundra truck. With pretty much every option here. It's an awesome truck, but the gas mileage sucks. I laugh because my dad's heavy gets 9 miles to the gallon. Because you can convert it in the uh, little screen there on the dash in the instrument cluster. And, uh, Tundra is not that far off. It gets about eight. But Toyota Tundra is an awesome vehicle. I love it because the turning radius is absolutely awesome. That tow haul function, awesome. You press tow haul on my dad's ramp, it does nothing, nothing but stretch out to hold those gears a little longer. That's it. That's all she does.
should help. And then the funny part was. Well, I forgot to focus. That's a good thing. No. Okay, so the best thing was I was looking at. I started up my elbows tucked away and it's got that one key. Like, it's a key. Like a key you have to stick in the ignition and to actually start the car. Truck, sorry. And I was laughing. I'm like, do you still have a key? Seriously? Wow. So, I found. If I had to pick between the Tundra and the Tacoma, if I was going for gas mileage without giving up any durability or versatility, I would have to take the Tacoma. If I could not care what gas mileage I got, it would be the Tundra. Not necessarily am I basing my options on whether or not I I wouldn't be carrying around people or not. I just find the Toyota Tundra is one awesome truck. I through the time my uncles had it, I rode with them a few times. That truck's one beast. It's not necessarily fast because you don't expect the truck to be fast. But it's awesome. That TRD dual exhaust, awesome. I highly recommend it for anybody who drives a ton. This mod you have to do. If you're into mods, um, and that exhaust is one heck of a good exhaust. Toyota, thumbs up for that. Because that exhaust is a great mix of loud, but keeping little toned back with still great throaty sound um and what I like about it is his quicksand I like his house that I saw that I don't like those limited and here in Canada we can't get a limited TRD 4x4 off road or 7094 with TRD 4x4 off you get 7094 straight you get limited straight like mark like your father gets your father has in his double cap limited to come that way only why and I got it oh no oh you know figure one class is going to take me a little more serious so I find that the Tundra is one awesome truck and whether you're in the market for one that's your problem so, if it wasn't for that bet my uncle lost, he wouldn't have a dungeon, and I wouldn't be sitting here right now making a video about it. That's a lie, I would still make a video about it, because Mark and Rob have two awesome dungeons. So, as a whole, the Toyota Tundra is durable, versatile, it's got huge for your leg room, especially in the crew max. Double cab if you're not carrying around people, I highly recommend that cab size um, and the crew max has that big one window that goes all the way down in the back of the truck awesome you roll down all those five windows and you get the best buffering of air going 60 70 miles an hour it's awesome no it's very not um but the Toyota Tundra is an awesome family hauler if you don't give a junk about gas mileage yeah that's about it so I'm all about vehicles and if you think I missed anything in this video about that Toyota Touch especially 2018 the ones that had LED lights they're awesome and plus all the TRD air take off-road suspension with the mill things or TRD shift knob or TRD dual exhaust if I had missed anything about this 2018 Toyota Tundra, just in general, please leave a comment below, like, comment, and subscribe. And I am Keenan Dent, and I am out of here. We're talking all things Tundra. Have a good day. Bye-bye.